Hello, hello, hello. I'm back. It's me, Danielle Danny Buttons, and I'm here with something different again. I think that is the theme for me. I'm trying new things, um, trying new videos at least, and seeing what people like, what people don't like, and just trying to get as much content out as I possibly can. So today I'm going to do my October bullet journal setup. This is not going to be exciting. If you are used to watching beautiful bullet journals with themes throughout the month and incredible detail, you might as well click away now because this is not it. Um, this is, I'm just gonna show you what I do. And I recently posted a flip through of my bullet journal up into this point. And yeah, now I'm gonna start doing my October. So first some things, I'm gonna write down something that has nothing to do with this video. Doodle bucket. This is the last coloring book page I did, and I don't wanna to forget to write that down. Okay, so this is my cup. It is a hand cup. I show this to you because in my hand cup, I keep that month's supplies. So these are my supplies for September. Every month, I like to pick five different colors of my Statler Tri Plus fine liners, and those are the colors I use predominantly throughout the month. So this is how I theme. That's it. So let's start off by picking our colors for this upcoming October. I have this pencil case. I have this whole mess. I want to say this was the 48 set. Quick, pause and count. No, just kidding. So what I usually like to do is pick one pretty standard neutral color to do my line work with. For October, I'll probably do something Halloween. So for now, I'm gonna take out all of my oranges and then I'm gonna swatch them and see what we choose. Um, I like purple for Halloween. I might do, this is one of my favorite Halloween color combos. What can my last color be? Maybe just two shades of the orange. One like brown or orange. What else screams Halloween to you guys? Quick, comment down below. No, just kidding. Um, um, I might be stuck with two oranges because I can't think of anything else. So let me take out this light guy too. Okie dokie, artichoke. So now we'll get something to test them on. Let's see. I should have been more prepared. As usual, off screen, my desk is a mess, so I have to like wade through everything. Here's a random index card. So here's my color scheme so far. Black. Wow, that's black, all right, we did it. Purple. It's kind of dark. I wish it was closer to the lid, but that's fine. Lime green. Now our oranges. That's almost definitely a winner. Like there's really no need to pretend that's not gonna win. <sighs> Neon orange, technically that's kind of hard to see and I also just used that in August. Yeah, that's almost definitely our other winner. But we'll go through the motions. Ooh no, that's almost brown, that's surprising. And, oh, that's neon orange, wow. Are they both neon orange? They both came out so neon. Okay, yeah, no. So these are our five colors of the month. Uh-oh, hit my monopod. It's been like two videos since I've done that. I'm pretty proud of myself. These are our colors together, hooray. That's step one done, ta-da. Okay, step two is my title page, I guess, for the month. I um, All year, I've just been doing this cool circle thing and a little doodle. So let's start with our circle. I take my neutral color for the month and I just make circles. Ta-da! Nailed it. And then I write the outline of that month. And by outline, I mean the word. Like literally, ock. Ooh. 
to watch I spell things wrong. That'd be fun. Brr. Spooky. No, I could have done like yellow to make candy corn, but I did not. So just do some dots. Mix things up a tiny bit with dots instead of lines. I'm getting crazy up in here. And then I'll figure out a little thing to do as I go. So then I take all five of my colors and I just make random polka dots around my circle. And I make five polka dots of each color. And I try to like mix and match if I go in or if I go out. I've just been liking having this as my constant um, monthly intro page for this year because last year I didn't really do intro pages at all. So, ooh, I don't know what else I have to do. Hmm, I have to pick my washi tape. So I will do that in one second because I'll have to leave my camera space. So as you can see, I think that the black is getting on my other colors, which that's annoying, but that's fine. That's one, two, three, four. Maybe another one down here. This is all extremely random. I don't worry too, too much about where I'm doing it, except I don't go like one, two, three, four, five right in a row. Pretty self-explanatory, I think. So this is just how I represent all my colors of the month in my little intro page. One, two, three, four, five, all the way in here. And the purple. Voila! What little icon should I put? Probably a pumpkin, right? I feel like that's the easiest thing to do. Should I do a pumpkin or a jack-o'-lantern? Jack-o'-lantern, why not? Because I can just do the black over this. Let me do. I'm not the best artiste either, especially on the spot that I've put myself on. Okay. Uh, no, I kind of like it as just a pumpkin. I feel like I would mess it up if I tried to do anything else to it. Okay, let me be right back and pick my wash. All right, we're gonna give this tape its chance for glory. I'm pretty sure this was from the Dollar Tree, so I'm a little bit nervous because it's not real official washi. It's more paper tape than like Japanese washi tape. We're gonna give it a shot. So what I do with the washi tape, as you may see, is I mark my months. So I go down the book and I'm basically making washi tabs. So that way it's pretty easy for me to be like, oh, May, and then look in May. And I do this as a way to not write in my index. So I'll remember, I'll be like, oh, I need to see my Pokemon. Let's go to January, because that's when I wrote down my Pokemon. And I'll just remember. So I'm gonna separate off a few pages. This is secretly tedious because I'm like very precise about it. So um, I just cut off a hunk of washi tape and keep cutting. Yeah, you can basically see through this, but not in a good way. Okay, so I take my last page and I fold it over and see where my lines are. Yeah, that looks right. And then I fold that that way. And I just do this for however much washi my hand happens to grab. I do it again. Can you see what I'm doing at all? I hope so. So obviously with watchy, wa watchy, with washi tape, you can go back and remove it later. So I usually just put a few pages down and then I, you can also add more later. Easy peasy.
beautiful. Yeah, what I do month to month kind of varies. Not too, too much. There's always like the same basic six pages, but then the extra stuff could be anything. Is this the same spot? Ooh, hit me. Hit me part again. I don't know what that was. I'm sorry. All right. Next page. This next spread is like my monthly overview. So on this side of the page, I'm going to put um, just the dates, 1 through 31. And I'm going to attempt to draw something down this side. And then I'm going to put like my goal bingo on this side and my to be read and things like that. So I have my five colors still at the ready. I'm probably going to do sideways. Should I attempt to turn you with it? I think this will rotate. Is that less annoying? Maybe. This is my first time doing this type of video, so I apologize if this is like making you crazy. Um, so again, I just write at the top in a fun-ish font, maybe, October. Those letters are not that fun in this font, but all right, 2018. Why I need the year every single month, I do not know. And then I will write one through 31. One, two, three, four. Usually I write it far closer to the margin. I don't know what I was doing. So on these pages, I put events that I know are going to happen and I kind of can go back to look at this and see an overview of what happened. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm seeing if I can talk and write numbers at the same time. And so far, I'm nailing it. 28, 29, 30, 31. So I'm going to peek at last month to see what day... So September ends on a Sunday. So that means that this is Monday. Usually I like to switch colors to keep us on our toes. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This also makes it easy if I someone asks to do something to just come in here. Oh my goodness. And see what day of the week it is. I definitely can't do this while I talk, so I apologize. Day today. Oh, good. We're in the suburbs, so someone's about to get their lawn done. Woohoo! Halloween is a Wednesday. Does that check out? Can you even see? It's a little bit hard to see, but I think it's good enough. All right. So I think I'm just going to try to draw some candy cane, candy canes, candy corns as my doodle over here. Because, why not? This has potential. This is something. Hold on. I just like to do a tiny border down the side to have something interesting to look at. Some months I'll do stickers here instead. Some months I'll get more into it than others with what my doodle is. But, this is the basis of what my doodles are. So, right, this is how candy canes work. They're yellow at the top. We'll see if this bothers me and I go back and fill it in entirely. Because I know this is like its own style that I always wish I could do, but then I never end up liking it. Let me get out a yellow to do the tip of our candy corn. There's a good question. Do you like candy corn? I know it is an extremely polarizing opinion about candy corn. I like it. Um, I usually get a bag every year. Why not? I think, though, that it's kind of addicting, which is a problem. So if I can push it off as long as possible, I do. Or I just try to get a really small bag because it's hard to not just sit there and eat them. So yeah, there's that. I realize I've changed my camera so I don't have to rotate back. Okay, so now I can write down what I know is going to happen for sure. So usually I make two fake columns that it's not 
a big deal. But like in the outermost column, I'll put things that like, this is my friend's, nope, that's not his birthday. <gasps> I just got really lucky because I wrote A-N for Anthony, but his birthday is the 12th. But Sean's birthday is the 6th and his name ends in A-N. So how awesome was that? So I write Sean's birthday. Tim's birthday, I write all my birthdays out here, and I'll write Anthony's actual birthday. So I don't wanna forget these things. Yes, there we go. Okay, then I write other things I know are going to happen and I'll write them closer. But if they're not about me, I'll still write them out here. So for instance, Sam's bachelor party is on October 20th, but I'm not going to that. So I'm going to write it out here. Bachelor party. Bam. On the 13th, we're going, nope, on the 14th, we're going to the corn maze. Bam. On the 28th is my cousin's Halloween party. On the 28th is my friend's housewarming. Bam, bam, bam. And again, Halloween is a definite, but I'll put that out here because I'm not doing anything Halloween related on Halloween. So there we go. And then as the month goes on, I'll fill this in with more details. Sometimes if I don't do anything important, I'll, I'll write down that I went to Target because might as well, or sometimes I'll just leave it blank for a few days in a row. And this is also where I'll put like, um, if my dad goes on business trips, I'll mark that here. If Sam has work things, if Sam starts having like his school schedule, I'll mark all that here. And it's just a good overview. Okay, on to this side. I'm gonna sneak peek at an old month to make sure I do this right. Oh, washi tape on here too. I'll just use this guy again. So, just to get a little more decor up in here, I will use this. I have this um, spatula type thing from my Cricut that I never used for my Cricut, but it's pretty good for ripping washi tape. So that's what I use for that them up here. So this kind of carries over my theme of the month and this is as detailed as we get with theming. So this side of the page is where I will put my goal bingo and also where I've started to put my subscriber count. Hold on one second. I go four up and two in. Yes. So two in. One, two, three, four. And then I'll just mark this out. I make a little four by four grid that each box is also four by four. It's like the perfect square. One, two, three. If you have not seen my other videos, this is where I put like fun goals for the month, not serious stuff. Every once in a while, there'll be one or two like real, this actually needs to get done things. This is more a fun tracker. Um, so I don't care about straight lines. I just go for it. Every like very rarely will I use a ruler. Um, I've used a ruler for some of the things in the back of the book because it's the stuff that I'm gonna reference all year long. But even then, sometimes I just wing it. Depends on my mood that day. Okey-dokey artichokey. And then I will write in that same font, goal, bingo. And then I'll actually draw another tiny pumpkin over here. Oh my goodness, look at the artistry. Somebody commission me. No. I'm feeling very sassy in this video. I feel like it's different than what my other videos have been. Okay, then I will also make my TBR shelf. And 
My shelf is a little bit too long. I'm getting text messages that I hope are not interrupting my filming. I don't think so. And then also I have started to put a little box for if I catch any new Pokemon, which I haven't had to use in the past two months that I've put the box. So that's cool. Um, new Pokey exclamation point. Great. And then like I said at the bottom, I'm gonna put my YouTube subscribers YouTube subscribers and then I'll put October 1st in a line and October 31st in a line and we'll see if we grow. Um, I'm not going to write in the books right now because I don't know how well I'm going to do the rest of this month. So sometimes I will write a whole bunch of books I wish I could read or sometimes I'll write them slowly and like only actually put it down as I'm reading it. But I can title my little section to be red. Oh, good golly. I just put red the color dot dot dot. Embarrassing. Okay, so now goal bingo. I probably also won't fill all of this in on camera because I don't have a plan like that but I'll fill some of it. I usually take two different colors and I'll alternate the boxes, but that's, sometimes I don't. It's whatever I'm feeling like. So I always write, read a book and read two books. All right, I very frequently write, lose five pounds and lose 10 pounds. Mm-hmm. That'll happen. It has not happened. <laughs> but maybe we're getting closer to the wedding. So hopefully I'm like more into it. Right? Hopefully. Um, all right. What else do I always put? I like to put listen to a book too. Listen to a book. I like to have a lot of coloring goals. So I'll put color 10 Disney pages from my mystery coloring. And then I'll also try to color five non-Disney pages. And speaking of Disney, in my rewatch challenge I've self-imposed, I'm going to write watch 10 Disney movies. Actually, since we're in the Halloween month, I'll also probably write watch 10 non-Disney, because I have a whole bunch of holiday Halloween movies that I love. Um, all right, make Halloween costume. Ooh, I know a good one for this month that I should write down over there too, is book all our fast passes. Uh, we're gonna hit 60 days from our honeymoon. So that's awesome. I have to figure out what date that is. Uh-oh. Do I have the book? I, I think it's on my messy desk somewhere. So I will figure it out. I probably will also put scrap five pages. Um, I'm gonna peek at old months for a second. I do a um, survey website that I use to make money to buy Christmas presents. So I'm gonna try to earn more money on that, try to get $100. Uh, that might be all I can think of right now, but you get the idea of what I do there. And this is like 98% of this is just purely for fun and I very rarely get many done. But this is just kind of, guides me and um, helps me to not procrastinate because if I'm like sitting here doing nothing, I'll just like be like, oh, I'll go on my phone for six hours. And instead I'll be like, no, be at least a little productive and do some of your fun goals. I feel like I've had problems with that before that I get so distracted um, by my phone or like just staring at YouTube 
or things like that. So that's a fun for me thing. Okay, next I will do my monies page. And I do this every month too. I almost turned my page even more. So now I don't want to show you the old months because I actually have stats in there. But hopefully you'll be able to see. Again, I have no idea because my arm's in the way. So this might be my worst video yet. October. Do I call it spending log? Money tracker. We're literally about to be 10 months into the year and I don't know what a comma page. Also, I feel like my handwriting is being a tiny bit rushed because of the camera, but not that much. So you're not missing too much. And then I will write in the second color. What should my second color be? I don't want it to be green because that will be what I write my actual numbers in. So back to an orange, I guess. Um, I need to turn even more. Oh, I'm turning back. Back we go. Ooh, that watch. All right, so I write, I'm drawing all over my arm now too. Down the side, paydays. And then I'll write the dates of the paydays. I'm trying to figure out which color I do what in. I think I'm gonna do all the lines black. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And then I'll also figure out what the dates of the paydays are, so. I turn back again, guys. I'm, I'm not. I'm too new. I'm an amateur. Um, bam, bam. Uh, 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 uh. No, I thought so. Okay. So then I write our categories. And just in case anyone is trying to be judgmental, uh, this is not our like savings account. This is like our checking account. So things will go into savings and that's a whole other thing. But this is mostly how we track our fun money and our monthly bills. So, what? no, I've already done it wrong again. I'm so bad at being on camera date what balance and we also track this um balance digitally but i like to do it by hand to as a backup i'm just afraid that i think sam does it in literally one spreadsheet for the entire year so I'm very afraid that something will happen to that spreadsheet and then we'll be in trouble. I also did this backwards, so I'm really batting a thousand. Cool. What's wrong with me? You guys have me so shaken. No. Okay. I'm sorry that I can't really talk while I'm doing this. But again, as you saw, then I get everything wrong. So. We split our money into these five categories. Bills, savings, me, Samuel, and us. I like the us category because that way we're not like worrying about oh no Sam paid for three dates last month and I didn't pay for any we have that money dedicated to both of us to use for things together so if we go to the movies if we go bowling if we eat out that all comes from us and that works out well for us so I'm just going to quickly attempt to draw my lines um Three. I like have to very specifically count out how many of each line I draw. So 
I'm sorry, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, because it like fits perfect what I want to do. This is how I get things even. And again, no rulers, no time for that, no need. We're all casual here. One, two, three, four, one, two. I am way off with my lines today. Hmm, very interesting. Ooh. Beautiful. Great, so there's that page. And that's it, that I do every single month. So, on to the next page. I think I will do my wedding list. For this page, I just again go in with my fun font. I'm gonna do some purple because purple is my favorite color and it is a wedding color and it goes with the theme. Oh, I've just changed the font for no reason. Wedding. Checklist. And guys, at this point, we will be in the two month range. Oh, good golly. So, then I put my little wedding washi tape at the bottom. Because why not? I gotta use up all those hundreds of rolls of washi I own. Use my little cutter. Zoop. Work that off. And usually I throw a sticker or two onto this. Let's see what I got on my desk, if I have anything cute. I have these stickers. Sorry for all the crinkling. I secretly like the crinkling, but I understand it annoys some people. I have these stickers from Simple Stories. This was the Always and Forever line. And they're cute, so. I do that one. I bought these for my planner, but I still feel like I'm wasting them by throwing them in here. So, oh boy. I'm gonna do this cute car. Bloop. And then that's it. And uh, as the time comes, I'll start actually writing down my tasks, but I don't know if I know what they are right now. I guess book fast passes is a wedding kind of task. Book fast passes. I really almost need a page for upcoming Disney related tasks because I need to start like ordering our shirts and things like that. So there we go. That's that page. And what else can I do? Hmm, I guess I can do my fun page. Do I have a plan on how to do this though? That's the problem. So what I'm going to do is make some fun boxes maybe. So this is where I'm gonna track some stuff. I've never done this style of box, so we'll see how bad this comes out. Is that about halfway? I don't know. Maybe. We're winging it, guys, so who knows what this is gonna look like. And then I'll do a giant box down here, if that makes sense. I'm gonna attempt to do a drop shadow for the first time. Wow. So how do we do it? We just go one over, right? One over and then that way. And then one out. And then we cross hatch, right? I think so. Look it, we're nailing it. So this is where I'm going to track all of my coloring and other fun stuff. So what Disney 
or my movie schedule because they're not all Disney in October. And what pages I color. Box one. And I'm imagining people that like watch a lot of bullet journal videos coming and seeing this and being like, what, Where? what, why are you using your journal for this? But as I've said before, that's my favorite part about bullet journals is it's so customizable and it's just, you do whatever you want. You do you girl. Beautiful. This, my washi's gonna get in the way, but that's okie dokie. That's the risk you run when you use the washi system. This takes forever, huh? Yes, it does. Yes, so I think this is going to be the last page I do with you. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to do this month. Maybe I'll do a flip through at the end to show you. But oh, let's turn back. Yeah. So there's our pages. October, our overview, monies, and the fun stuff. Um, I don't know. Usually this is all that I do every single month and then everything else is bonus. So like I've hinted at last month, I had the giant schedule and I had my fall bucket list. I have a feeling in this month, I'm going to start doing more Disney planning because that's gonna come up quick on me. So we'll see how that goes. But I hope you enjoyed this weird video. Um, if you like this and would like to see this again for some reason, let me know. If you're done with me bullet journaling, let me know that too. I can take it. I'm tough. Not really. Please be nice. Um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.